Good evening. Welcome to uh, another Wednesday night gear grinds. We have another bracket for y'all tonight. This is number 20. Now, we may have miscounted or lost some or uh, skipped some, but you know, in the end, it says it's number 20, so that's what we're going to go for. It's exciting. Um, tonight, we're going to have some guest commentary, as I will be a little bit indisposed, but still running the bracket and the scores, etc., etc. So um, I will pull some of our friends in and uh, start talking about some of these games here. Good evening and, and welcome. Welcome to uh, Commentary Duty. Hello. Good old Commentary Duty. Never gets old. No, we're, we're here for it. Uh, okay, so we may as well get started uh, here tonight. We are going to get started with Noir versus Reach. Ooh. Now, uh, Noir is not a player... I don't think I'm too familiar with. I don't believe so either. I don't believe we've seen them in a uh, in a bracket before, or maybe maybe in the, in the very early ones. But uh, I... let me. Um, I feel like I've seen them play before, but I don't recall who they played or anything like that. Yeah, so it's always a surprise. It's almost like every week we have a new new players, new faces. You know, mm -hmm. it's exciting. We have a wonderful room code tonight. It looks uh, nice and symmetrical, so that's uh, you know an easy one for people to uh, to remember. Um, it doesn't have any numbers in it, so it's almost a word, kind of. <laughs> kind of, yeah. That's uh, that's good. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll probably have some rotating commentary tonight. I know uh, Matthias. Uh, was here last week and is willing to lend his voice uh, again tonight, so that's fantastic. Um, so yeah, we'll wait for Reach on the Biken. Obviously, Reach has been putting in quite a bit of work actually um, recently on that Biken, so that's been good. And then we'll see the mystery, the mystery character coming out of Noir. Could be anyone at this point. I mean, the game's been out for a little. Honestly, bit. honestly, it could be anyone. <laughs> All right, so uh, as soon as our contestants are in the lobby slash arena. Discord is giving me a hassle hint. There we go. It wouldn't let me full screen the fucking stream. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I had to like put it on 800 by 600 or something and just really see the pixels. Yeah. Is that yeah, right. working good for you, by the way? Is that the game? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. it's good. We're all good. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. All right, I hope Noir is here tonight. They've signed up, so I'm assuming. Um, let's see the last time they typed. Well, it was a couple of days ago, but still in the server. They okay. do have the gear grinders matchmaking roles, so. Fantastic. And Should be here. Reach. Uh... I mean, I'd say sniping player one, but both players are a little bit tardy here, so, you know. <laughs> a little it's not, bit. It's not really a sniper here. It's just more so an entry into the lobby and seeing that, uh, the you know. Oh, snipe. Yeah. Yeah. Noir <laughs> is set to playing Guilty Gear. Oh, they said okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So I'm sure hey, they'll join right. us soon, and then we'll uh, get into it. I, I've been neglectful of my duties i've been not doing timestamps and for matches <laughs> as my uh, one job <laughs> you know that's okay every you know you've had some you know it's been a like, rough like, yeah december january so far yeah some uh you know surgery and some everything so you know that's uh it's fun fun times getting it bones ripped times. out of your head will do that to you yeah True. i will say that We'll, we'll get a good comparison here, right? Where last week there was maybe some, you know, PEDs oh, involved. I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's still some uh, good old Oxy uh, in the system right now. There we go. Maybe that's just what that's what it takes. Just, you know, make the, the combos flow a little better. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah, that's rough, brother. I hope, uh, hope that ends up healing well for you. 
Uh, I hope so too. Um, I don't know. I based on what I've talked to from a lot of people, the amount of uh tablets oxy tablets that they gave me um is more than yeah it's quite other a bit people got. <laughs> it's quite a few of them yeah so that leads me to believe the surgery was complicated and they knew i was gonna be messed up yeah that, that makes sense it's all right doctor's way of saying oops <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right looks I, like both of our contestants are at the station here so i will turn it over and uh yeah i will i will be here just uh ping me if there's something major like a freeze or something but it's guilty gear so you know never happens. absolutely yeah <laughs> never happens oh axel Ooh, we have another Jory's favorite little... yeah i'll be watching this one but you know i'll be this will focused be, <laughs> this will be interesting for sure yeah uh axel oh. definitely got a lot in the uh in the patch from what oh. I've so it'll be interesting to see how this shapes up good start for noir oh the yo johnson missed i don't know Ooh, what happened there counter yeah. just some nice basic combos coming up from noir keep it nice simple and uh you know kiss keep it simple stupid yeah, and honestly no, that's all you need, no need no need to make it complicated just kind of it's the first game of the night just kind of get it worked out and see what you need to do if you need to improve on anything and if not just keep doing what you're doing seems to be doing a pretty good job at keeping reach out absolutely uh the oh, snails I'm are coming oh. in handy for him but oh he's just finding way in has axel in the corner this is always scary for axel oh this is know. real bad oh, with the tether this could be messy gets the counter oh, hit, gets the counter hit but not much of a conversion Retether. All right, this is strong for reach. Got the burst. Kabari has a hundred meter, and Axel is very low. This is terrifying yeah. spot, and that'll be the conversion. That will be it for that round, but not for the match. Let's see what will happen. Oh, Whoa. wonderful air grab to start the game. I feel like Reach took that out of my book. Not gonna lie, that's a, that's what I love to do. There you go. Damn, and just a few hits, and this axle is absolutely <laughs> melted. Oh, that could be it. Uh, yeah, RC. Oh, oh not so even RC will finish. So much damage. Well done. By reach there. A little shaky in the first round, you know, but uh, really showed up there. He showed up like a little bit late. Kind of got iced out. Yeah, even <laughs> a little. He was also late. <laughs> Ooh, I'm actually excited for tonight we actually have a lot of uh new faces or like rare faces like we have volcarona who was here last mm -hmm. week um but hadn't shown up before that uh we got necreotic who is always a pleasure to see and uh newcomers as far as i know shelly bros and noir well shelly apparently entered before but mm -hmm. this will be a great night i feel like Ooh, opening with a 2H into the counter hit Yozonsen afterwards. The, the 2H is showing absolutely no, like, regard for safety. Just, I'm going to hit this and win, or yeah. I won't, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> it, it, it's a really big call out, because it's like you, you're you saying to your opponent, you're not going to jump back. You're going to either backdash or just not block low. Mm. And, I mean, it, it's it's working out. It is Reach, working out. Reach got the round for it. Well done. Ooh. Just the trade at the start. The double counter hit trade. Axel Wait. getting his space. Okay, Sue did sign up. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. The pressure into the grab tether. Yo, shot. Ooh, a little bit of interesting frames here. Not sure if that's just spectator. Or if it's competitor side, but Reach gets a nice wall break combo, and this is looking curtains for Noir oh, with the gun. Kenju. Yeah, those last uh, last couple of days or days games, Reach uh, Reach has just been kind of taking little bits of space and really getting in after that one hit, which uh, sometimes is not as easy as it should be. I guess it depends on the hit you get, right? Uh, so sorry, I zoned out for a second there. That's okay. Uh, can you reiterate what you said? I was just saying that uh, 
Reach was doing a really good job in those last couple of games, just kind of like taking little bits of space and then really capitalizing off to that uh, that opening hit. Like maybe dropping yeah. the combo a little bit later on, but getting the space off of that hit and making that neutral zone smaller and smaller, which is obviously what you want against Axel's any character, I imagine. Yeah, uh, Axel really struggles because aside from 2K, he doesn't really have good mash opportunities to take space mm -hmm. back because all of his buttons go so far and they're so laggy uh, to start. But 2K is a saving grace. Uh, you just gotta be able to have the guts to use it. And ooh, the two S into the snail really working out well for no Noir when it goes off. Mm -hmm. oh, misses the meaty timing there. Unfortunate. Gets tethered. This is gonna Reach be is getting lots of mileage off these tethers this set. Absolutely, it has been. So probably something he's been uh, practicing a lot. I have to imagine. Mm -hmm. Good pressure, just really keeping Axel in that box, just not giving him any room to breathe. It really is just that, like, one-tenth of the screen, just that small section of the corner, and we're there already again. Tether combo, just gonna go for the safe Oki. Oh, nice reversal from Noir, see if they can get out of this corner. But Reach keeping up with that pressure, not letting him uh, kind of get anything it is uh, a bit of a knowledge check right here from uh oh, reach. oh nice oh, block. block but oh, no, that's no. gonna be it unfortunate for noir there's a bit of a knowledge check going on with uh kabari because reach is doing kabari uh one and then not using the follow-up and just preying on noir's mm -hmm. passiveness there uh, so you can uh, and you can get uh, through to the other side now, right? You kind of you like, can uh, you could do that LDO before, dash. but yeah, oh, could you? Okay. yeah, it's just so rare to see. Yes, it's it's an interesting use case. There's uses mm -hmm. for it, but not the be most uh, best thing. A bad gamble, if uh, one were yeah. to say what that was. <laughs> Potentially not a not a fantastic gamble. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, just. Reach taking advantage of uh, Noir not uh, his unwillingness to even move after Kabari won. There was mm. no real jump out attempts or mash attempts, which of, of course it's spike and it's scary too, but you kind of have to in those situations, especially when she has less than 50 meter. You have to, like, your best option is to probably mash at her. Um, it's terrifying to mash into bike him, but you're right. You have to do it. Yeah. Because if, if you don't, you either have to pick like a super scuffed option that will probably barely net you anything based on your character, or you're going to get just pummeled into the ground and carried all the way to the other side of the stage. And now you're in this box and yeah, what are you going to do? You have to do something into bike in, even though it's terrifying. It is. A, <laughs> I I hate playing against Biken. The fact especially, that like, especially since she's... Biken's the character that has the oh you're attacking get fucked and just yeah. slams you into the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh yeah, it's just the fact that she forces rock paper scissor options so so frequently and so so very often in her favor, especially uh with fifty meter, mm -hmm. which she can kind of build kind of nicely. I don't know. Damn, chat is going off. Did, uh, With that, we're kind of going over the safety regulations. Obviously, you know, the soccer ball is just <laughs> a, uh, a decoration. It's not meant to be played with. You know, we have breakable things such as the exact same book four times. Uh, <laughs> there's like two windows. Um, there's a door, but it's open. Uh, those boxes could have breakables in them. Uh, <laughs> no, you don't want to kick the ball into the oven. It could, like, you know, get burnt, and then the fire alarm's gonna go off. It's just, you know. Oh, Gino Jack replies, oh, "His dude. Nago is still in the oven. <laughs> Nago's gonna be burnt if he doesn't pull that out." Soon. <laughs> you know, you can only cook for so long, Gino, until they until it burns. 
<laughs> Necriotic with the, uh, did you not see what I said? And his <laughs> ambiguous worky frowny face. <laughs> no, not even. He said, might. Might be cute. Might be cute. <sighs> oh, he said, on my way. Let's go. Break stuff. Disrespect authority, says Separatist. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't. Honestly, me, I, I, me I, re I really don't. Tell me about it. Speak to that. Uh, speak your shit, King. <laughs> you can go to Spain. You <laughs> true. Yes, you get, sir. If you get bones removed from your face, did you get all four removed? I actually don't remember. Uh, no, I got three removed. I got one Whoa. removed. The three I, gambit. I got, Whoa. I got one removed. It my 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 dentist, not my surgeon, uh, was like, "Oh, we could just rip this one out right now." I'm like, "Word, say less." And so he ripped that one out. <laughs> just in uh, there. That was like in the summer. Uh, but it, that wasn't so bad. I was like, "Ah, three? It'll just be like oh, three times no, worse." Okay, yeah, I remember this now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it'll be like three okay. times worse, which isn't that bad. Like, I sure I was hurting one day, but like I could take one day. It was not one day. It's it's been a week it and a was, day now. It was thirty three repeating, and it goes on forever. The pain <laughs> never ends. Oh, necriotic hovering right. over the happy chaos. We're just gonna get oh. into it with the happy chaos. Ooh. May versus happy chaos. We have the traditional floor 10 matchup. Nah. True. All the, all the floor 10, <laughs> all the floor 10 happy chaoses are, uh, in, in, in celestial. Oh my God. Yeah. You're, you're either like a floor six happy chaos or you're a celestial happy chaos. So true. That Yo, hard. double pink. I don't know. Ooh, good color selection. Nice. Uh, unfortunate Jump map from choice, but, you know. And huge IB out of me. Ooh, counter hit 2D into no Nothing. conversion. <laughs> well, Come on, Necriotic. Worky frowny face. <laughs> just, <laughs> the worky frowny face option select just, coming in strong. Just a little bit slugging back and forth. No huge commits. Oh, finally Ooh. gets Lone the conversion, media. Yeah. Indeed. This is gonna a go lot. into the super. This might not break the wall. I don't think he's close enough to it. Oh my oh, god, he was! I thought that was at the edge of the screen too. I thought it was just slightly off screen and gonna opt for the zoning here. And unfortunate for Volcarona. Yeah. You may have gotten my Electro Web Magnemite, but you are gonna get zoned by Happy Chaos. Yeah, not every not every matchup is winning. Really, you know. Not every matchup. I feel, is I feel like there's a good amount of Pokemon that lose to Gun. I can is there imagine. a gun Pokemon? Blastoise oh, is a cannon Pokemon. True. Gonna go anyway, this through is the wall of super. Combo. I'm sorry, that's poor etiquette. Nah. Type of chaos. It's a local. Fine. Damn. Damn. Nice combo there. Necriot Necriotic. Necriotic's got some, got some flow charts. <laughs> Neutrally. What uh. if? What if this is like all freestyle? Like he's never I, labbed his happy chaos, and he's just hitting bones. I believe it's working. <laughs> chaos is pretty freestyle. As as a chaos connoisseur, for a small bit, uh, that character has just some fun thing, some fun stuff. Oh, Fortress it, is a gun is, Pokemon, kind of. I guess it, like a shotgun. It's, isn't it like a Fortress Pokemon? <laughs> On everywhere shotgun. <laughs> What what's its title? The Bagworm Pokemon. What? You heard me. No, I didn't. The ba Octillery. Octillery is you also right, yeah. a cannon. <laughs> also a cannon. Or an artillery? Is there a difference? Magma uh, Mortar I mean, has a gun. That's true. Artillery is just a big gun. Oh dude, Remoraid! Remoraid is actually the gunfish. That's true. I forgot about that. I wish they kept its old beta design where it actually looked like a revolver. It just need you know how Clef Key is literally just a key? They need to make a Pokemon that's literally just a gun. Someone eyes. someone and, fucking and snipe him. Get him out of here. <laughs> I don't know. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Blastoise was mentioned, Reach, yeah. Well, my guy's banned. All right. <laughs> God damn <laughs> <laughs> Necreotic like the changer stage and then also E1. picks the most late like, stage. <laughs> I can't believe he just scummed P1. Uh, I <laughs> 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 Volker on the right. This is insane. The happy chaos player just scummed P1. I cannot believe this. This is insane. All right. Oh already has God. already has everything he could want. Got maze burst. Has the hundred meter. Full clip. Oh, in out of concentration. The Costco the picture, Glicky. Oh, this is a little unfortunate for Volcarona. Not quite ready for the uh, Happy Chaos matchup, I assume. Probably hasn't ran into it very often. Ooh, get the oh, grab. there's the throw. Oh, oh, 5P. A little unfortunate. May is want a plus. Yeah, that was 5P. Oh my god, I thought that was They look so That's similar, I know. Okay. Oh, 2P? <laughs> I thought you were going to say 6P. No, well, he, he crouches. <laughs> anyway, yeah. dolphins. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I was talking about Maze Five P whipping that. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice pressure coming in from Necri Uh Unfortunate for Volcarona. Gonna get hit here. Burst into yeah. Focus super. Whew. Oh my goodness! Yes, this just absolutely suffocating pressure from happy chaos it's so scary to look at yeah it's <laughs> happy chaos is such an incredible knowledge check for all ranges of skill level uh, low to high oh the walk away for the stage change Ooh. i hope please Corona, if you're listening, there's one more match. When Creotic is, <laughs> we need an arbiter in here. Dang, I didn't see Volcarona's loose coil. I'm gonna have to see it next time. Jory you said it was a amazing loss quote. All right. I did. I didn't even see it. The last potential game here in winter side for Volcarona. But you never know. Volcarona's kind of a gamer god. True. Alright, one of these openings jumps over the Happy Chaos opening. Alright, here's the start yeah. of the pressure, but the FD was very nice, but unfortunately didn't take his turn there and gonna get hit on wake up from the close flash. Ooh. Oh These no, counter the hits. counter hit too has it's so big. It is oh, very Oh my deep. goodness. Gonna go through the wall and <laughs> That's the curse. Nice Ooh. counter hit does get the burst. That could come back to bite Necriotic in the set, we shall see. The patient nice. walking and <laughs> Necriotic oh. got tired of He's zoning. Kinda... Yeah, just ready with those FDs, but yeah. Sometimes, sometimes Rob oh. gets you. The the gigantic two S. I swear, there's a sword hidden in his sleeve somewhere. That's a <laughs> Marth two S. Uh, that two S is insane. It really is just a Mark down tail. Ooh, nice dolphin to start off the reset, but next round is just finding great man. openings. But the positive bonus. With the full concentration. Ooh. Yeah, oh, there's that. There's the that. On the dolphin. This is just ooh, yeah. so difficult to deal yeah. with for Volcarona. There's like those pauses too where Necriotic is not doing, is like trying to get an input for either the super or to reload. And uh, just that matchup unfamiliarity of uh, taking too long of a break and then. Uh, suddenly he's up his resources and you missed out on your chance to get in. It's mm -hmm. it's hard matchup. Um, if y'all ever need any advice on trying to get into happy onto happy chaos, I am more than happy to answer in the DMs. 
Family Guy gunny moments. I would love <laughs> to have those TikTok formats where it's just Family Guy on top and then it's just guard crush loops on the bottom. <laughs> that's an insane uh, sentence that you just said. Probably the first time that's ever been said. True. New guy has just been invented. All right, next we have Shelly Bros versus Young Matthias. Matthias, I do believe, is still playing the Faust? Uh, yeah, I think he's pretty on that Faust train. Um, mm -hmm. He could bring it up Amelia. Amelia is pretty hot and... Ooh, ooh good gambles on good Amelia. Good gambles with the Amelia. That is a good gamble. Picking up the Amelia after the quite sizable buffs. The buffs seem pretty change. good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, Ludwig is playing Hollow Knight. Shoutouts to Hollow Knight and Silk Song <laughs> not existing. <laughs> oh, you were going to say shoutouts to Ludwig. It's like, yes, he needs the PR. <laughs> no, shoutouts to, to uh, Hollow Knight, the game that I've never played and will probably get into at least one time in my life. I bought it. I have it installed. I have not. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Jake. Doctor. This is, in fact, your opponent, Shelly Bros. If Shelly Bros is listening to the stream. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll play Hollow Knight. I don't know if he was talking to you or me. Pro both of us. Uh, I have not played Hollow Knight because I like to focus on competitive games more than solo single player games. Tarkov. And uh, right now, my focus right. is, is Tarkov and Strive. <laughs> that run up FD right out the gate. Matthias feeling fast, quick fingers. Oh, and goodness. Just, and here's the Matthias pressure. Just the absolute schmix. Absolute schmix. Probably uh, has some new sauce for us, but right now we're just seeing El Classico try to go for the grab. They're probably meant to be a jump dust. All right. round. That was round one. That's crazy. That was round one. Nice jumps around these Kai buttons. Does find a way in. That was a crazy conversion. Ooh, what a frame kill there with the jump JP. Ooh, what is going on? Oh, oh, that absolutely fantastic movement from Matthias. <laughs> oh, right my God, is, oh my goodness. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Trying to do their best to uh, hit buttons onto Melia, but the movement is kind of a little schnice here from mm -hmm. Matthias. I'm gonna get the JH. Matthias closing out game one very confidently. That was that was terrifying to watch. That was pretty terrifying to watch, but uh you know. I got hit. It is it's Melia. It's fast. It's hard to get uh mm -hmm. used to. Yeah, a lot to keep track of. Oh, I messed up the timing. Um for the matches here, I'm just gonna say that was like three minutes ago. Dual one. Let's, Let's see these players' openings. Just a little bit of a dash away from both players. Matthias does find the first opening. Well, he uses the burst, but Matthias just using that back dash to wonderful Ooh. effect. Double, I tried to double 6k, but Shelly Bro's finding a way out there. Which is pretty nice for them. Unfortunately, the life Ooh. lead is a bit in Matthias' favor, but finds a way out again. But the dash over JH. I think that's, I think that's 6K. Uh, it is 6K. Um, where she like hands on her hair. Yeah. Uh, notoriously bad, but I, I disagree that it was bad uh, before the patch. Um, you just had to RC to make use of it, much like Chip has to RC to make use out of his uh, 6k. 
But now, uh, meterless combo comes from it. All right. <laughs> That's crazy. Matthias is cooking. That was, yeah. He's been he's been chefing some stuff Ooh, up. Ooh, Dragon Insult on the air dash, and unfortunately oh, didn't hit, but... Connect. Amelia's oh, stubby little air dash. <laughs> oh, these stun She misses dippers. leg day. Oof. What would be incredible to see is the infinite come oh, out, but no. unfortunately we're not going to get that opportunity as yeah. Matthias gets it. The 2K2D, and that will be game two for Matthias. Good golly. Matthias scares me. Matthias is a little scary. <laughs> It's a little bit scary. <laughs> Strong on that, Amelia, for sure. Mix-up characters are spooky. We shall see how Shelly decides to approach this third game. Ooh, that, get the... that first counter hit, JH, is so rough to get hit by. It is rough to get hit by. It goes straight into the mix, and suddenly you're at half health from two combos. Thankfully, it's Melia, so you're, like, you got some chances to survive. She doesn't do that much damage, but the problem is, is you have to find your opportunities to do damage. Ooh, good super there. Quick, quick on the fingers. A little bit of a safe start from both sides, but yeah. overhead into the mix. Matthias has not been, the wall, actually. Matthias has not been punished for this double jump air dash. Uh, JH, I believe that's the third time he's done it in neutral, but it's hard. It's it's yeah, it's a rough one to see coming, especially since a lot of Melia's aerials do come out quick. If you try to preemptively deal with it. Then she could just like delay and hit you with a JK or just an empty, empty hop and just get yeah. you with something else. It's rough. All right, and that's well, gonna be good game three zero for, for Matthias. Quick work, absolutely disgusting mix. Well done. Ooh, I am next on the stream. Beefaroni. What a matchup! That's my first match. Beefaroni. Double, double strike throw. All right. Well, we should be on the other side. I am looking bring forward Matthias to seeing here. how this goes. Yes, bring Matthias in here. I'll give a little interview over your match. <laughs> All right. Peace. Yeah, Amelia combos Thanks. are very cool to look at. Hello, Matthias. How are you? Pretty good. Uh... Yeah. I didn't know how good Shelly Bros was, and I just kind of went all out when I heard Yeah, it. you just went the fuck off. Dude, I heard Ram. I you wanted just... to test him, but I was like, oh my god, Ram. You just showed up and went yeah. absolutely insane. I don't know. Honestly, yeah. I can't think of a character that would be like much nicer. I either zone him out, I throw items, or I also do set you... play. So. Yeah, you're... Uh... I think just the way that you play, it's very hard to, like, get in against you, I think. You always, like, threaten such, like, different options in neutral. Um, yeah. That I've... it's almost like you think you can swing, and then you can't. Yeah, well, I played, uh, I played against Kai and other certain characters, so, so I just know so well. Mm-hmm. Well, especially, like, sometimes you make it seem like you're going to swing against characters like Kai, and that's when they do stun, stun Dip or Infudra Arc, which are, you know, punishable and whatnot. I was really expecting you to almost, like, those double jump air dash jump H's. I was almost expecting you to, like, empty jump one of those and just grab when you came down. But uh, you made so much work out of that jump H. It worked well, you could do you could do such great options because you can uh, you could triple overhead with bad moon, or you can right. combo, or you can bait the grab on landing with Kepel and combo off that. There's Ooh. so many options. Good reversal. Both of these like characters just slugging. Going for a a really cool new. Um, I don't know if it's new, but a really stylish uh, the high damaging combo. Um, oh. 
so bad names. Beefaroni. Mm -hmm. With the, uh, you do the, uh, the fast RC down to land quickly to catch Ooh. the jump. Yeah, those are, that one's tricky. I've tried doing a couple, like, fast RC downs, and if you're not used to doing that motion, it's a very awkward thing to hit, I think. Yeah, I was actually just practicing that earlier, and it nice is a little combo. bit awkward. Oh, oh my, my goodness, goodness, the double dust. Is this the first bait? Nope. Uh, no, I don't Gambles think... Gambles is just going to hold it right until... I think he's just going to eat it. At this point, <laughs> you, you have such a lead. <laughs> oh, my God. That, uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, my... and we have the reversal. No? Oh, my God. Oh my God. All right. This is like 27 dusts in one game. There's another one. <laughs> Gambles. Block, bro. His teeth block, hurt. Block, bro. Grab. Grab, block. There you go. He <laughs> got it. Oh, my goodness. Beefaroni just doing some clown shit. But I guess it's not clown shit if it works, huh? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, nice right air cling. Good yeah, GP. That was, that was a good air throw tech by uh, Gambles. Great awareness to know that he's going to go for that option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, air throws. Air throws are definitely one of those things that you, like, at least for myself as, like, a newer player, it, it's definitely, like, one of those things that you realize is the next stage of gamer. Because, like, yeah. people around my level never in a billion years think about it. We don't even know jump dust is a thing, let alone, let alone like, jump grab. It starts becoming a thing when your offense kind of, uh, you automatically do it. Like, when people, let's say people jump hair car, and I already sure. planned to RC, and I kind of, you can just tell, you RC right underneath, and you can just see that they're right under you, not pressing anything, so you, you kind of on reaction do that. Right, right. Yeah, doing it off of RC definitely seems like uh, the more common solution, but the people that just do it raw, it's crazy. Or if you're already trying to make something safe by whipping, and then you see that they jump, you can RC up to try to punish it with an air throw, but you could see Gambles knew he didn't press anything, and there, you can't mm -hmm. press anything faster when they're RCing up like that towards you, unless right. maybe you have an air DP. So the fastest thing to do is just tech. Gambles did. He didn't get the fast RC there off the jump S. I wonder if that's what he was going for. It's a very funny mix that uh, Beefaroni goes for there. Uh, it's quite expensive, but also I think Beefaroni just likes to keep that uh, keep you thinking about that wake up super. When when mm -hmm. Beefaroni has a uh, full meter, he likes to go for full ch fast cancel into full charge dust or 2D, and it's mm -hmm. very hard to see with the super animation. Yeah, Beefaroni. The way that he plays Geo, it almost looks like... Because he likes to do a lot of walking back and forth. Not necessarily dashing to, like, kind of judge space. But he does a lot of just walking back and forth. And then he'll come in with, like, dust and a button. So the button looks enormous. It's almost similar to, like, a, like a jump cancel grab in Melee. Or, like, a wave dash up option. Yeah. It, the button's just that he does a super lot, big. Yeah, yeah. Huge. That... 2D, like, it beats all of those range options. It's actually insane. Mm -hmm. uh, but, honestly, I oh, think nice more than way. walking, he does a lot of, like, uh, backdashing. Because, like, three backdashes and one normal dash and you're back in. So, it's you're True. not really sacrificing a lot of space. Yeah, but, he okay. seems to have a really good grasp on, like, exactly where he is on the screen. Ooh, nice empty low. Great block. Oh, low. good. Wall jump yeah, that's nice. it. Great confirm. Yeah, both of these characters definitely have like very I, I want I don't want to say dense because they're not like super complicated, but they just hit hard. Like their streamlined combos hit so hard. But both characters have relatively high hit pools. So you'll see these characters go at each other over and over and over again, and their health is barely moved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's for sure. it's it's crazy. Whereas like you see like Potemkin versus Chip, Potemkin gets one grab and Chip is dead. This is just the polar opposite. Well, the big thing too is these are kind of like strike throw counter hit characters, not mm -hmm. exactly crazy strong mix options. Yeah. 
So uh, like, you, you don't see like a lot of like volatility on the Oki. It's kind of just, are you gonna get counter hit? Is someone gonna wake up with a reversal? And are you gonna get thrown, basically? I, uh, one of the things I always kind of try to look for when I'm judging like how much damage a character can take, I guess, it's just like when I'm playing Soul, is how much the clean hit Heavy Volcanic Viper does. And against like a Geo with 100 meter, it's not, it's not as much as you would think it is. Like oh, Geo yeah. can, Geo can take a beating. Yeah, Geo with Gut on is, uh... No, the Geo uh, melee matchup is kind of just a nightmare because Geo just builds meter so fast and it's just so... Yeah. One of the few characters that can kind of keep up with Milia. Milia has better air options, but Geo just has such great ground options that mm -hmm. you can just like one dash and you're already out of the IED range. And at least before the uh, before the change, I'm not exactly sure how. Ooh, is this gonna hit? Ooh, that'll be it. Um, I'm not sure after the change, but at least before the change, like uh, Geo's six P is surprisingly large. Like, it's just like a little fist, but the hitbox is huge. So when you're trying to get in against uh, against Geo, if she's ready with the 6P, it's it's really hard to find an opening, especially in the air, if that's where your character kind of wants to get an opening. Yeah, yeah. Well, especially characters that don't have crazy mix options, they definitely do tend to mm -hmm. give them very, like, juiced 6Ps and, and certain options like 2D and 2K. How do you feel about the uh, the dash kind of archetype character versus the sprint, like the Geo and the Leo? Uh, I think I uh, honestly I prefer the uh, the sprint archetype, but honestly, like Melia's sprint is like as fast as a dash, so yeah. I just have the ability to like stop at any time and the freedom of movement. Yeah, the uh, Leo's isn't as threatening, I guess. I guess it just like works better with his kit. But Geo's dash, it's so quick, it it's almost like a jump scare in the middle of a match. Ooh, great Experience. clash cancel there. Oh right. my oh, goodness. No confirm, though. Oh, I punish. thought that was a 2D, actually. Oh, I that punish, that could have been this match. Oh my oh. goodness. I think with the new juice Geo combos, that could have been the match, but just barely dropped that punish there, unfortunately. But I think the difference is, I like Geo as a dash archetype, Ooh. just because... She has so much options of where you can cancel her forward dash compared mm -hmm. to Leo, where I think Leo's is kind of like a set distance and you use uh, the moves like uh, 5k kind of like dashes forward and 2d like jumps forward. Yeah, it's it's almost like his like back turn. Uh, just the back turn threat is more like the dash mix versus the dash distance. Ooh, yeah, this will be a lot. Yeah, no, not quite the best quite... though. Potentially a uh, loser's life or okay. Ooh. Last match potentially a uh, match point for gambles. This is two to one, I believe. I think so. I think you're right. <laughs> that that Geo two D. It's uh. I like the wait. Definitely mm -hmm. people don't wait enough in Strive. And they, they've got that accent core brain where you just need to go. Yeah. Like, Soul's got Sidewinder. I want to stand over here on this side of the stage and hit success. I just want to jump at you and have you hit a button and then I kill you off of it. Yeah. But, just like that, Geo hit a button and Gamble's killed off of it. So. Yeah. And, just like that, uh, that is Beefaroni in Loser's Bracket. That is a, uh, that's a rough first match. I think. Yeah. For both of those players. I mean, I definitely get 3 0 by both of those players <laughs> round one, so. Yeah, but I still think that's great. I don't actually, haven't actually seen them play each other much. Uh, no, recently. it's really rare. Because Gambles definitely goes farther in the brackets, but typically at least. And, but I think Beefaroni just like, just before fighting Gambles or whatever gets taken out by like Sephiroth or. J Mac mm -hmm. or one of like the top two, top three. Yeah, it's always like one of bad gambles and then like J Mac or Sopratus on the opposite side of the 
uh, of the bracket, and Beefaroni just always ends up against someone on the other side, like you said. Yeah, but I think that's a refreshing matchup. Like, two very not super top three characters fighting on the screen. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. I like, uh, I like Strive a lot for that. It's almost like these... Well, no, it's almost like it is. These, like, less played characters still have enough that they can kind of just like come in here and do work against the top tiers like people make the top top tiers sound like unreachable impossible all of these things but like that's at like a robot level right like if you're just playing against people it, it's very rare that those enormous jumps even make a difference well, even at the top, top level, like, Apology, in, at Last Evo, Apology Man yeah. was in it, Slash was repping Mei, and Daru was repping Eno, like, very not top three characters in the thing. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, and so Mochi won uh, Arc Revo Japan, right? So, this was, this was pre this nerf for Soul, but that was still, like, Soul as a mid-tier. Yeah, yeah, no. So, it's... You have to watch out for these characters. It's not like, it's not like other fighting games where like the bottom tier. It's like, oh, this is free. I don't even need to study it. Like, no, no. I, honestly, I just think the uh, the not top three characters. The worst they have going for them is they just don't have like. I think the ooh, thing that differentiates really like space. the top top tiers is that they don't have quite as many bad matchups. They only have like maybe one bad matchup. Yeah. Yeah. And they're all like pretty even against each other where you're like, you know, the middle tier characters kind of have like one or two bad matchups. And those might not even be like the top three characters. It just might be something mm -hmm. weird like Gold Lewis or something. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's there are those outliers. Like I know uh Nago in the past has had like struggle matchups against random like lower characters just because they have better options for like working around his stuff right so yeah, like straight up uh apology man doesn't think the naga matchup's that bad it's definitely in nago's favor but like apology very... man makes faust look like the best character in the game on god but like <laughs> it's crazy because like there's certain options you got to think about because when nago has high blood all those those guys to just throw items and anti air mm -hmm. super jump, and then you just have to, like, because you can't Fukio in, you're gonna get hit by items or burst from blood. Yeah, and like, uh, the Faust, like, 2P, I think it's 2P, like, the little kind of, like, really close to the ground claw. Yeah. It, it's just, like, so quick that if you make a mistake, it'll just, like, you'll get chipped out. Not, like, blocking chip damage, but, like, just the little hits. Will, yeah, it, it'll do a lot over the course of a long game if you let it go that long. Yeah, uh, I think we should commentate the match a little bit more. I think we're yeah. kind of guilty yeah, your true. podcast mode at the moment. True. Uh, true. <laughs> but I was... so far, uh, solid matchup. I definitely think um, Biken can do pretty well in this matchup because the minions can be annoying, but. You usually it's kind of strike minion, strike minion. So the uh, the parry can be very a mm -hmm. solid answer to that. But but also you can't really parry when you're getting mixed up, and Sephiroth has that juice mix. Yeah, Sephiroth takes huge, like just insane amounts of space off the smallest of buttons, and uh, it, it 